We're now joined on the sports mix by Muscleman football head coach Brian Thomas. Coach Thomas, your team tries to get the win, but unfortunately falls up short 48-13 against Wheeling Park to fall to 0-3 to start off the year. What are your thoughts about last week's game? Yeah, you know, once again, I, I kind of echo what I said the previous week. We do things well in some spurts, and then we do some things not so great in some spurts. So, um, you know, film, I kind of felt that after the game, and then when I went back and broke down the film, you know, the film kind of gave away the same story. Um, you can see, you know, you can see see some plays, just the, the you know, the, the, the effort, the execution, and then on other plays, you see breakdown. So, you know, we just got to kind of get more consistent with what we do, um, you know, and can kind of continue to work on work on ourselves more than anything and just our technique and everything that we do. Coach, you mentioned kind of seeing a lot of the same things that you're failing to do consistently. Um, obviously, you knew heading into the season, you know, consistency may be a little bit of a struggle with the inexperience that your team has. So do you think that just kind of comes with experience and maybe in a few weeks you'll start to see that consistency? Yeah, I think so. You know, you, we're, we're playing a lot of guys that um, – we're playing a lot of guys that haven't played a lot of varsity football. So, you know, some of the mistakes that we make are mistakes just like, man, we're, we're – we're doing things, um, you know, we're doing things wrong and, and you know, we messed up on this play, but, you know, it, it's a play that, um, you know, I, I think experience sometimes helps things like that. So, you know, some of it's that. Some of it's implementing new schemes that we're still trying to learn how to do, um, you know, certain schemes a certain way and kind of build build off of that. So, uh, you know, it, that's, that's the beauty of coaching. That's the beauty of playing sports is, you know, you go back and you – you break down uh, your deficiencies. You know, you break down what you're doing wrong, and you break down what you're doing right. We're also doing a lot of things right that, you know, we can point out, like, this is why we did this correctly compared to this is why we did this incorrectly and kind of work on those and fix those a little bit. How much have you seen, I guess, from a week-to-week basis, some of those little things or maybe even some of those big things that continue to uh, happen be eventually fixed or from these kids without the experience learning from uh, their mistakes in the past? Oh, we're, we're, we're growing. Um, there's no doubt. There's no doubt in my mind we're growing. You know, we, we've gotten better from a week-to-week basis. You know, and, and having said that, and I don't mean this as, as any disrespect towards anybody, um, but if we switch schedules with some people, we're probably not sitting here at 0-3. You know, we played a Hanley team that, that's really, really good, a uh, really good team. You know, a Loudoun Valley team that's one of the best teams um, in their conference in Loudoun County. And then we played a Wheeling Park team that, um, you know, I'll be honest with you, I've coached against them many, many years, and they're one of the best coach teams in the entire state of West Virginia. Um, so, you know, they're, they're, we've played three really good uh, playoff quality teams. So, you know, having, having said that, uh, you know, we've done good things against those teams. You know, if, if, we, if we switch schedules with, with some people uh, and we play some different teams, you know, I think we, we maybe have one or two wins under our belts right now. But, you know, that's, that's not the case. But, uh, but, yeah, we, you know, to answer your question, we, we are without a doubt showing growth throughout three weeks coach uh with all the turnover what would you say has been i guess the biggest challenge of the season and and with the zero and three start how do you i guess preach that to your team that you have played some really good teams and and not to get too down on themselves because muscleman football is used to winning and, and having a lot of success i mean our locker room i mean our the morale's high in our locker room I mean, we, we have a, we have a good coaching staff, um, who, you know, we're all, we're all on the same page and we're together. You know, we have kids that, you know, they, they're, we, we have kids that enjoy being around each other. Like every day, um, coming to the field, uh, it, it's fun, man. You know, we, we have, we have a group of kids that, um, continues to have an optimistic outlook and, and, you know, we, we believe in them and, and they believe in us and, you know, the environment and the, the morale is really good. So, you know, as far as the belief, um, you know, we, we just kind of continue to preach, hey, this is what we got to work on. This is what we got to do. This is what we got to fix, um, you know, and kind of continue uh, to go through that a little bit. Looking ahead here, you guys now get to focus on Spring Mills, a team that has looked uh, fantastic to start off. The year has not allowed any points so far in the uh, three games that they have played. 
How do you guys feel like uh, you match up with the Cardinals? I mean, this is, I mean, I, my first year I was head coach 12 years ago was the very first year that Spring Mills opened. So, uh, you know, I've got, I've got to see them up close and personal for all 12 seasons. This is the best team they've had in 12 years. Um, you know, they, they, they got a, you know, they got a really good team. Um, you know, they do a lot of things really, really well. Um, you know, you're, you're, I'm not going to dodge a question. You said, how do we match up with them? Um, they're good, man. They're really good. You know, at the same time, uh, you know, we, we, we have to fix things on ourselves. So, you know, we can sit there and watch Spring Mills all week on film and prepare for them all week, which we will. But at the same point, you know, there's things that we, we have to make sure that we understand from a basic football 101 standpoint that we're doing things right ourselves. So some of our focus will be on Spring Mills and some of our focus is going to be on, hey, you know, we got to make sure Musselman gets better. What are some things that you think Spring Mills does well? Uh, I'll turn the question around and ask what Spring Mills does not do well because I think they do everything well. Um, you know, they they um, they're big up front. Uh, they're 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 aggressive. They're physical. You know, they their line blocks well. The receivers block well. You know, they have a they have a quarterback that um, I haven't watched a lot of teams across the state, but um, you know, I, I don't know who the favorite is to be first team All State quarterback, but. Um, you know, he, their, their dude's pretty good. If he, he's, he's up there. So, uh, you know, he, he's one of the best quarterbacks in the entire state of West Virginia. Defensively, they're aggressive. They get after it. Um, you know, they're, 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 they're physical. They're aggressive. Special teams, the same thing. So, you know, they do a lot of things well. I think, you know, I think they're definitely, um, I think they're definitely probably one of the, one of the top teams in the state for sure. What are you hoping to see from, uh, your team? in the game um just positivity positivity and growth you know want we want to continue to grow we want to continue to get better um with things that we do you know it, it's uh you know we, we want to we want to execute things that we work on throughout practice in the week you know not everything i tell our team all the time not everything's going to be perfect you're not going to go into a game and, and have every perfect play if, if that was the case um, then you know you'd see teams beat other teams a hundred to nothing. So that's not that's not the case. You know we're not going to be perfect, um, but you know at the same time we're not going to be uh, completely awful. We're going to do things right. We're going to do things wrong. So you know we want to continue to do more right than wrong and, and, and get better at things that we have focused on. You know we we have certain things that we have focused on this week that hey we want to get better at this. So you know we we want to get better at, at, at you know achieving our week to week goals. Coach, you mentioned earlier the difficulty of your schedule and, and possibly if you played some different teams, you could have had a, a better record heading into the next three weeks as well. I mean, obviously you have to play Spring Mills and Martinsburg, but Spring Mills, Martinsburg, and, and Cabell Midland, some of the best teams traditionally in the state. Do you ever think about changing the schedule or do you want to keep that challenge for your program each and every year? Well, two out of the three teams you just mentioned are, are EPAC teams. So, you know, you can't, you can't change those teams. So, um, you know, yeah, I guess you could. I guess you could drop out of the conference and, and do that. But, you know, we're not, we're not doing that. But so two out of those three teams, you know, you're not changing because it just is what it is. You know, our, our, our non-conference schedule, yeah, you change it some. I, I'll be honest with you. And, you know, this is just, this is just the truth. My, my first couple of years I was, I was a head coach. You know, we were, we were around 500, you know, a little bit above. You know, we weren't one of the top teams in the state. Um, everybody wants to play you, you know, Hey, Hey, we'll play you. We'll pick you up. And then, you know, you have a couple of years where you go nine and one and you go eight and two and, you know, nobody wants to, well, nobody wants to play you anymore. You know, you, 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 you've seen that with teams where, um, I'll give you a great example. I'll give you a perfect example. And, and, you know, um, I'm not talking smack on Jefferson, but Jefferson one year beat the snot out of Hampshire, um, beat the crap out of them. Hampshire dropped them. And then the next year, Jefferson went 0 and 10. So, you know, uh, maybe Hampshire should have kept them. So you, you you have that. I mean, that that is what it is. You know, we had we had so many years where, as a program, we had eight or nine wins, and you know, we were tops in the state. Well, when you pick up the phone to call people and say, "Hey, do you want to play? Do you want to play us?" Uh, they don't. You know, last year we called everybody under the sun trying to find a tenth game, and we would have played anybody there was, and everybody said no. The only team that said yes was Cabell Midland. So then you make a decision. Well, do we do we only play nine games, or you know, do we do we make that five hour track and play the number one team in the state, which they were last year when we picked them up? So 
you know, yeah, you, you, you change the schedule, but, you know, you, you flip it around. But at the same time, you know, playing high school football, you know, you got to be able to compete uh, with who's in front of you and, and play who's in front of you. So, you know, we've always been up to those challenges. All right, Coach Thomas, before we let you go, get to the fun question this week, which is what is the, I guess, uh, most memorable sporting event that you've been to? Oh, man, that's a, that's a hard one. Uh, I got to go to a Ravens playoff game one year, and I had, like, front row seats. And it was when Ray Lewis played, and they played the Colts, and Peyton Manning played, and that was a really cool experience. Um, you know, being able to being able to be, uh, you know, have such great seats for a uh, high intense game, you know, with some of the best athletes ever playing, it'll probably be that one. All right, Coach Thomas, thank you. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Have a great week. You as well.